I'm giving away the secrets on how we approach the order of marketing with our clients. And this is how we get our results. How do we prioritize? What do we do first? Do we start with nurture? Do we try to get traffic? Do we make sure we have everything set up on the infrastructure side? What do we do? So obviously the first thing is we go back to those foundations. I would say 90% of people who start working with us, 90% are missing pieces in this foundational situation. This is where I would go first, 100%. When we do our coaching, this is where we start. Now, the second thing that I do, I'm going to jump real quick because I love a quick win. <laughs> I love a quick win, especially when people are starting to work with us. We want them to have wins quick. So one of my favorite things to jump to is actually a reactivation of our existing customers. I'm going to send an email or a direct mail to our existing customers and see if I can reconvert them. Are they ready to buy from me again? Can I upsell them on something? This is a quick win. Our favorite technique would be like a nine word email. So we like to throw that in between foundations and where we're going next, just to get a little bit under our belt. So getting through the infrastructure is next. This infrastructure section takes a while. It's frustrating because it's going to feel like you're not moving forward, but this is going to be compounding ROI, setting up that marketing CRM, developing a lead capture. We want to plug the hole. We want to make sure that if we're going to be turning on the hose to fill our bucket, that our bucket can actually hold water. Okay. This is the perfect time to hire or to designate one person at your company to own marketing. We suggest hiring a marketing coordinator. So the person in charge of marketing will be tracking, optimizing, and revising the infrastructure based on data. We need somebody who can create, deploy, track, and revise processes and campaigns as we go forward. It's going to be very hard to do it all yourself, especially if you're running your business. <laughs> Once we have that marketing coordinator, we're going to jump into those daily, weekly, monthly tasks. These are the processes. Now, the processes can include traffic or nurture, and you are at a crossroads. <laughs> Which one do I do first? Where do I go first? Well, it's a really simple answer. How big is your list? How big is your existing audience? How much traffic, how many eyeballs are you getting? If you are not getting eyeballs, if you don't have any new people, if you don't have an existing list of customers, you're gonna go traffic. You need to prioritize traffic. So you don't wanna be everywhere at once, but once you've decided which one you want to prioritize, either traffic or nurture, you wanna pick two or three channels for your priority and one of your secondary priority. If I have chosen traffic, I might wanna be running PPC and I probably wanna have a more sustainable path forward. So maybe I'm going Pinterest, maybe I'm going SEO. However, I don't wanna ignore nurture. So I might go email as well. That's a solid marketing strategy. If you are prioritizing nurture, you've got a really big Instagram account, you're like, this is going well. You want to keep posting there. You want to do Instagram and email, and then you might want to be doing SEO in the background for that longer term traffic. So pick two to three tactics that support your goal. Don't try to do everything at once. Now for your infrastructure, we also need KPIs. We want to start tracking KPIs as related to this infrastructure. For our opt-in sequence, we track every single open, every single click. This is a part that a lot of people want to ignore. They don't like looking at numbers. It feels scary, especially if you're like, am I throwing away money? You want to be clear on what those KPIs are. Once you do that, we need to keep tracking them. We need to make sure they're working and we need to constantly be optimizing and refining. And once you're tracking those KPIs, we start looking at running those cohesive multi-channel campaigns. So a lot of people in our coaching program say, how long will we need you guys? How long should we work with you? It usually takes about six to nine months for those wins to really start coming in. If you don't have that infrastructure and the foundations, if you do, we can move much faster. So that is how SuccessWise approaches marketing and how we get our results. 